Hey, what's up, ladies? It's the relationship guru, Sid, for real. Now, I'm back again with another video just to give you ladies. Now, before I get into this video, please make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and you hit that bell notification so that you're notified every single time I post. And if you are a woman that needs relationship advice, or you want to learn more about how to think like a man, or why men do the things they do, act the way they act, and think the way they think, then I encourage you to book a one-on-one -on -one session with me. Link is in the description below, and I can help you out personally, one-on-one, -on -one, with any questions, concerns, or anything you have regarding your dating life, or relationship currently in general. And also, brand new on my website, if you want me to coach you every step of the way, step by step throughout your dating or relationship process and journey, and you want me to become your personal dating coach long term, then I have a special program just for you. Link is in the description below also. And I can help you out personally again, one-on-one -on -one, with any questions, concerns, or anything you have regarding your dating life or at least you're currently in general. And also, go pick up my brand new girls night card game. It's officially out. So if you're having a game night with your homegirls and you need something to do, then make sure you go pick up my girls night card game. It got a lot of fun questions and scenarios about love and relationships and everything all in between. So make sure you go pick that up. Link is in the description below, okay? And then on this hand, we got my brand new ebook. It's called Oh, He's Toxic, period. And if you never want to be played, used, or manipulated by a man ever, ever, ever again your whole life, then make sure you go pick up that ebook right there because it's fire, okay? And again, link is in the description below for that also, okay? And also, if you are a woman and you love love quotes, dating quotes, relationship quotes, and things like that, then I have something special just for you. I came up with my top 100, yes, 100 dating love quotes for women, right? So if you want to go get that, it's on my website. And again, as usual, the link is in the description below also, okay? So all that's out the way, and we gonna jump right into this video, and this video is titled, Men Do Not Respect Women That Do These Five Things. Right, ladies? So a lot of y'all want to know how to gain a man's respect how to make a man respect you, right? Because in theory, if a man respects you, he will never disrespect you, right? And a lot of times, some of the actions that you display to a man and sometimes the way you carry yourself among other things can make a man not respect you, which also makes him more inclined to disrespecting you. And a lot of times you wonder why a man lies to you, why a man cheats on you, why a man plays in your face, why a man dogs you out, why a man put hands on you, why a man feel like he could just talk to you crazy. Why a man feel like he could just run circles around you and walk all over you and dog you all the way out, right? A lot of times, it has a lot to do with you and the way you present yourself to this man. If this man sees that you are soft, if you're weak, you know, and all that, and you not gonna open your mouth and do nothing about it, or if you ain't going to actually leave, or if you're not going to actually, you know, put your foot down, a lot of times a man will walk all over you and he ain't never going to respect you, right? A man will only respect a woman that holds him accountable, and a man will only respect a woman that carries herself in a certain way. A man will a lot of times look at a woman based on how she is, or basically his perception on women, right? Maybe 
he got a bad perception on women. Maybe, you know, him and his mother had a bad relationship. So now he views women in a negative way because him and his mom, his mother has a negative relationship between each other. Or just what he went through with certain women or just what he sees on social media, dating apps, just culturally how women carry themselves. A lot of men, they stopped respecting women, you know, partly because a lot of women don't respect themselves. A lot of women disrespect themselves. A lot of women allow a man, let him get away with anything, then they complain about him dogging them out. So in order to make a man respect you, to honor you, in order to make a man value you, you really need to pay attention to what you're doing and how you come across to this man so he can actually cherish the woman that you are and he'll never disrespect you and he'll always treat you right. If you want a man to treat you right, these are five things you should never do. If you want a man to dog you out, go ahead and do these five things and watch how he dog you out, okay? So these are, again, in this video, we're going to jump right into it, right? And I'm going to give you my top five. Yes, five things that a woman should not do if she actually wants respect from a man, right? These five things that will make a man disrespect you or not respect you at all if you do these five things, okay? So we're going to jump right into it. we go number one. So number one. The first thing you should never do if you actually want some respect around here, number one is a man will never respect a woman that gives away her benefits too early, right? So if you just meet a man, y'all just started dating, y'all just started talking, y'all in the talking stage, the dating stage, or y'all are in a situation ship, right? Y'all been dating for a few weeks, a few months, right? A lot of times, you as a woman, you make the mistake of rolling out the red carpet. You make the mistake of trying to show off and prove to this man that you are indeed wife material, so you try and you go all out your way to make him happy, to prove yourself to him and to impress him. You just want to impress him and you think that that's going to make him like you the more you do for him when all actuality, he's not going to value you. He's just going to value what you do for him and he's only going to care about you know, what you are willing to give him and he'll never cherish you as a person, only what you do. So that's why you got you got to be careful with what you lead with. For example, right? If you are giving a man booty up front first night, keep in mind, this man ain't have to take you out. He ain't have to take you out on no dates. He ain't have to spend no money on you. He ain't have to really talk to you on the phone, text you, get to know you. He ain't really have to invest time and money into, you know, you. This man, first day, you already coming over. First day, you already let him come over. And he get the booty. He get the draws, right? You just give away your most prized possession to a man and you wonder why a man don't respect you. You wonder why a man will have sex with you one day and then the next day you won't hear nothing from him. You wonder why, you know, a lot of women have given a man sex on the first night, a one night stand, if you will, right? And you feel like, oh, if I give this man a little kitty cat and sprinkle it on him, if I give this man some booty, if I give this man what he want and what he, I know this man wants some booty out of me. So if I give it to him, that's going to make him like me and appreciate me, right? Wrong. He ain't never going to appreciate you. He just going to use you for the booty that he did not have to work for. 
And now he gonna kick you to the curb and he on to his next prey. And you gotta understand that men are hunters. So if you don't give a man nothing to hunt and you just give him the prize and you give him the prey up front, he ain't have to chase down the prey to actually get it. He ain't have to hunt to get you. He ain't have to invest to get you. He just got the booty handed to him in his hands. Give me booty, thank you, I'm on my way, right? And you wonder why a man don't respect you. He ain't have to work for you. So how valuable are you as a woman if I ain't have to work for you? How valuable are you if I got the, the most prized possession you got, the booty, and now what else do I want from you? I don't want to have to get to know you. What am I getting to know you for? That's backwards. I was supposed to get to know you before I got to know your booty. Don't give me the booty up front and now you expect me to take you out. Don't give me the booty up front and now you expect me to talk to you on the phone and get to know you. I ain't got to do that. I don't want to do that. I don't want to get to know you. I don't have to jump through hoops to, you know, win you over when I already got you already. I already had you already. The fun is over. The chase is over. I got the booty. I won. You lose. So, and then you look and you empty handed. You gave this man booty. What did you get? Nothing. You ain't get your nails done. You ain't get your hair done. He ain't take you out. He ain't take you shopping. He ain't pay no bill for you. He ain't put no gas in your car. He ain't even buy you a simple plate of food for a date. He has not invested nothing into you. He ain't even talked to you barely on the phone. You barely got a phone conversation out this man. You barely got a couple text messages out this man. You barely got any attention out this man, but you gonna give him booty up front and you want somebody to value you. And then a man going to look at you and say, oh, is she going to give me the booty up front? Who else can just walk up on her and give the booty that easy? She easy. Why would I value her and she going to give me the booty up front so easy, right? You as a woman, you got to know it's so much power. You got the power, literally. You're walking. You are sitting on your power right now in between your legs. You sitting on your power and you giving it to a man for free. Ain't nothing in life that's valuable free. Name one thing that's actually valuable that's free. Nothing. Nothing in life is free that's actually worth something. So if your booty or your kitty cat ain't worth nothing, then you wonder why a man think the same. And then even if you say, but Sid, but Sid, I don't normally do this. I don't normally just give a man my booty. I just really liked him and it just happened. It just happened. It should have just happened. It wasn't no mistake. It wasn't no accident. You should never let him come over your house in the first place or you should never went over his house in the first place to even lead up to that. If a man want to see you, he got to take you out in broad daylight and spend some money. No exceptions. Ain't no coming over late at night and giving him some booty. No, he ain't earned that. So never give a man booty on the first night because he nine times out of ten, he won't respect you. Nine times out of ten, he going to feel like you give it to everybody. Nine times out of ten, he ain't had to work for it. So he don't care nothing about you, okay? So that's first when it comes to those benefits, the booty, of course. Then a lot of y'all women make the mistake of... You know, cooking for a man, cleaning for a man. You cooking your home-cooked meals for this man, trying to show him, look, look, pick me, pick me. I can cook for you. I can clean your house. I can do this. I can do that. What has this man done for you to deserve that treatment? What has a man done for you to receive that treatment? What have you gotten out the deal? Why you over here cooking for him? Why you over here cleaning up his whole house? Why you over here, you know, in the kitchen whipping it up? You know, serving him a plate. What has he served you? What has he paid for you? This man ain't paid nothing, ain't did nothing for you. You, you, you are the one 
that's buying the groceries, or even if he buy the groceries, it don't matter. He's still getting free labor out of you. He getting free labor. You over here cooking for him like, like you a chef or something. You his own personal chef already. You over here cleaning up like you Molly the maid. What did he do for you? If a man ain't did nothing for you, or he ain't paying nothing for you, what you what you trying to show off that you could be wifey and you ain't no wife? What you trying to show off that you wifey? You're not even a girlfriend. How? He, he ain't claimed you. He ain't made you his girlfriend. You ain't nothing to this man. So, so why are you being a wife to a man that ain't even made you his girlfriend? You ain't even made it to the first stage yet, but you going all the way. You over here washing his clothes, doing his laundry, rubbing his back, giving him massages, rubbing his feet, doing this, doing that. You doing all this for what? And you empty handed again. So stop trying to show off and being desperate. Yes, desperate and thirsty and a pick me woman trying to show off so bad. Make trying to make him like you. If this man don't like you for you, he definitely ain't gonna like you for what you do. He'll only use you. That's how you get used. You wonder why a man just use you. You He getting everything up front already. Why would I make you a girlfriend and I don't have to make you a girlfriend because I'm getting all the privileges out of you already. Why would I make you a wife and I got everything out of you already? Why would I make you this and that if I already got all the benefits anyways? Why would I buy the cow if I could get the milk for free? Ain't nobody finna buy this whole cow if I can get the milk for free. You know? So you gotta be very careful about what you lead with and the benefits that you give to a man. And then when it comes to money, a lot of y'all women, you over here spoiling a man. As soon as you meet this man, y'all been talking for a few weeks, a few months. You are already spending your money on this man. Every time y'all go out, you got to pay. Every date that y'all go out, you the one paying. Every time every time he needs something, you paying. Anytime he want his hair cut, you paying. Anytime he want the video game, whatever, some new clothes, new shoes, you paying. Anytime he want a bill paid, you paying. Anytime a man want this and that, you paying. So what are you giving your hard-earned money away to a man that ain't even claimed you yet? What you giving your hard-earned money away to a man that ain't paid nothing for you, ain't bought you nothing? Has a man, has he bought you anything? No. He ain't bought you nothing. He ain't spent a dime on you. He ain't even took you out nowhere. But you spending your money on him? But you buy him food and clothes and, and, and all this stuff? Trying to be a sugar mama. That's all you are is a sugar mama. Trying to butter him up. Oh, if I buy him these new shoes, he gonna like me. If I buy him this watch, he gonna like me. If I get his hair cut, he gonna like me and he won't go nowhere. You right. He ain't gonna go nowhere. Because as long as you supplying him with his needs, he gonna keep using you until the day you stop. The day you stop giving and the day you stop spending all your money the day you stop giving him booty the day you stop cooking and cleaning for him the day that you stop all of that is the day when he leave you because you're worthless now you're worthless now you're worthless because i was just using you for everything you could provide for me but outside of that i care less about you you know, so you want a man to love you and like you for you, not for what you do. So do not go all out your way to impress a man. Let the man, because what? Men are hunters. Let the man come to you. Let him spend all his little money on you. Let him call you. Don't never call a man first. Let him call you. Let him text you. Let him want to see you. Let him... Let him take you out. Let him buy you stuff. Let him pay a bill or two. Let him pay your nail, pay for your hair, pay for this, pay for that. Let him invest into you. A woman should not be investing into no man up front. You know, he got to earn that. 
He got to earn that. Once he proves himself to you and claimed you as his woman, as his girlfriend, as his wife, then you can be a wife to him and give him all those privileges. But until then, you ain't got no ring on your finger. Um, You ain't even a girlfriend. What you doing? You wasting your time, and that's why you get used, and that's why I don't know man respect you, because you a pick-me woman, and you desperate, and you thirsty, and you pathetic, and you need to get some self-dignity, and you need to know that you the prize and not him. If you treat a man like a celebrity, he going to treat you like a fan every time, okay? So that's number one. So number two. The second reason why or the second thing that you should not do as a woman if you want a man to actually respect you, number two is a man will never respect a woman that is not afraid to walk away from him and not afraid to check him and stand up for herself, right? So if you are a woman and you are terrified to cut this man off, you already lost. You gonna lose every time. If a man knows in his mind that you are terrified and you're afraid to lose him and you need him more than he needs you, that's you you are in a, for a world of trouble because he know I got the advantage. I got the upper hand on this woman. I got leverage. So no matter what I do, she gonna stay here no matter what. If I lie to her, she gonna stay here. She might get mad, but she gonna stay here and still give me some booty. If I cheat on her, she might get mad, whatever. Might not wanna talk to me for a little bit, but she gonna come around and she gonna forgive me and she gonna take me back every time. And guess what? I, I ain't gonna care because I'm gonna still keep cheating anyways. What's she gonna do? She ain't gonna leave me. She ain't gonna go nowhere. So who cares, right? Or, you know, if, if a man feel like I could put hands on her, I could cuss her out, I can call her out her name, what's she gonna do? I can call you all out your name. I can call you the B word. I can call you a H to the O to the E. I can call you... All these different words and names and stuff. What you gonna do? Nothing. So that's why a man disrespects you. Because he know you ain't got the guts to leave him. Why? Because maybe you feel like you're afraid of being alone. It's so many women don't even love themselves. And they need a man by their side to feel like they have an identity. A lot of women don't have an identity outside of a man right they have no identity outside of a man they don't even know themselves okay or you know you're just afraid of starting over you don't want to start over with a whole new man because you were afraid again to know somebody new that could actually treat you way better but you're just so afraid and you're thinking in scarcity you're thinking this is the best i could do this man it ain't gonna get no better than him so i might as well stay with him no, you got to always know it's somebody better that will. What one man won't do, another man won't hesitate to do for you. You know, so a lot of women, they're just scared uh, of leaving a man or they feel like this man, again, he the best I could do. He's so tall. He's so handsome. He got so much money. He just, you know, a lot of women want him. He's just a real good catch. Even though he treats you wrong, he treats you like trash. On paper, he looked like a good catch. So you said, I don't know if I'm going to find another man as tall as him, as handsome as him, and that make as much money as him. I don't know if I'll ever find nobody like that. So I'm going to just settle for him no matter what he do to me or no matter how much he dog me out and mistreat me. I'm going to stay just because I want this lifestyle or I just want this handsome tall man by my side. You desperate and thirsty. If you actually loved yourself, you wouldn't care about how much money this man got. You still leave him. I'll leave it all. I don't care if you a billionaire. I'll leave it all. You ain't finna talk to me crazy. I, I don't care how much money you got, sir. I don't care how handsome you are, brother. I don't care 
how tall you are. It don't matter. I will leave you in a heartbeat because I love myself more than I love you. I'm putting myself first before I put me over a man. You always got to put yourself first over a man. You always got to stand up for yourself. You always got to hold a man accountable. You always got to set boundaries with a man. If you feel disrespected or you feel offended, you need to check this man. Hey, I don't like what you did right there. Next time you do it, you'll never hear from me again. You got to stand up for yourself. Ain't nobody else going to stand up for you. So you got to stand up for you. And, and if that man get mad, oh, well, I'm a walk. You, you can't be afraid. You got to be quick to cut a man off. No, anything, any, you got to make a man terrified. Any, any small, if he even breathe the wrong way, sneeze the wrong way, cough the wrong way, you could be gone out of my life. Do not play with me. You, you got to have that man walking on eggshells, terrified to ever play with you. Otherwise, he could lose everything, right? But a lot of women, the problem is they sit and they stay and they allow a man to mistreat them. And you wonder why a man don't respect you because you're supposed to have been left. How can I respect a woman that don't even respect herself? How can I respect a woman that, that's afraid to stand up to me? How can I respect a woman that ain't got no backbone, ain't got no dignity, she a pushover, she weak, she soft, she desperate for me, she needy for me, she just gotta have me, she put me on a pedestal, why would I respect a woman that's beneath me, you already put me on a pedestal, meaning I got more value than you, and, and no matter what I do, you gonna stay here, so why would I care if you don't care, so you gotta care about you to say, nah brother, and you gotta learn how to Stand up for yourself and say, no, no, I'm not going to do this. I'm not going to do that. No, I'm not doing this. No, no, no. You can't make me do something I, I don't want to do. No. And you got to stand on it. And if he get mad, okay, I don't care. You could go. Bye. But over here, you're going to treat me with some respect. Otherwise, you ain't going to see me at all. Right? So you got to learn how to be a lot more strict with cutting a man off. If you afraid to cut a man off, you will never be happy because you will always be compromising your happiness for this man to just to make him happy. And you should never put a man's happiness over your own happiness. You got to be happy at the end of the day. This is your life. This is your life. You got to live life for you, not for no man. Okay, so that's number two. So number three, the third thing that you should never do as a woman if you want a man to actually respect you, number three is men do not respect women that blow up his phone or women that send very long emotional paragraph messages, right? All in your feelings and stuff. So if this man is not your boyfriend or not your husband, I repeat, if this man is not your boyfriend officially, and he's not your husband, you have no right to blow up this man's phone. It's not your place to ever blow up a man's phone. Now, if he your man, you got every right to blow up this man's phone. I need to know where you at, and you better pick up for me, period, right? That's your man. He's supposed to pick up. But if y'all just in a situationship, or y'all just started dating, y'all just started talking and stuff, you shouldn't even be calling this man at all, period. You shouldn't even be texting this man at all, period. And even if he is your boyfriend or your husband, he should still do majority of the reaching out and the communication, right? Now, you can call him here and there or text him here and there because he's your man, right? If he's your man. But he should still do majority of the work. But going back to a situationship, no, the woman should never, ever text a man first. A woman should never, ever call a man first. A woman should never, ever reach out to a man first, ever. Why? Because men are hunters. You got to let the man come to you. Let him hunt you. If you hunt him and chase him and call him and text him, you don't even know if he would have picked up the phone to think about you 
to reach out to you. You didn't even give him a chance. You got to give a man a chance to think about you and want to pursue you. But if you always calling me, calling me, calling me, texting me, texting me, texting me, if you always all in my face trying to get my attention, why would I call you? Why would I text you? Better yet, why would I text you back? A lot of y'all women right now, you wonder why this man don't text you back. Because you desperate. You thirsty. What you texting me and calling me for? Who approached who? Who wanted who? The man got your number. The man approached you. The man wanted to get your number. So why are you calling him? That don't even make no sense. He came to you. You was minding your own business. That don't make no sense. If a man come to you, he need to finish the job. He was interested in you. He walked over to you and approached you or he messaged you online or he swiped on you on dating apps, whatever. So if he interested, he got to follow through. Don't let a man show you interest and then now you all on him. No. He need to come to you. He wanted you, so he need to finish it, right? And he need to consistently, you know, invest. So you should never, ever, you know, blow up a man's phone, that especially a man that's not your man. Now, again, if he your man and he your boyfriend or your husband and he not answering, yeah, I can see you having a problem because... You know, hey, you supposed to, you supposed to answer. You know what I'm saying? Like it's already a thing. Y'all supposed to answer, but you be getting messed up because you expect a man to call you and text you, or you get mad and so angry just because a man don't text you back. He don't owe you nothing. You not his woman. He don't have to text you. A uh, news flash. This gonna hurt a lot of y'all women feelings, but I'm gonna be real with you. If a man first meets you or he first you know, start talking to you, first get your number. He don't have to text you. He don't have to call you. He don't have to call you every day. He don't have to text you every day. Now, he sh now you would think that he should, and I get the expectation, but don't have no expectation on no man because high expectations lead to high disappointments. You want to sit back and watch and see what he would rather do. You don't get mad. You just you just sit back and peep and watch and just watch his actions. Now, if a man don't text you often, if he not calling you often, now you know where you stand with him. He wasn't all that interested. So that's when you just leave it alone. Don't even chase after him, right? Don't get mad. Don't get frustrated. Don't get all in your feelings because this man ain't text you back. Just say, okay, you ain't, you ain't texting me. You want to take all day to text me? I'm going to take all day to text you. You going to take all day? You going to take days and days to call me? Okay, I'm going to take days and days to answer. Or I'm going to take days and days to talk to you too. You know, you got to treat a man the same way he treats you. You got to reciprocate the same energy. Don't get mad or don't be expecting the man to follow up with you. Don't expect it, you know? Just, just, you know... Watch his actions and see what he would rather do. Don't try to force him. A lot of y'all women, you try to force a man to talk to you. Why won't you talk to me? Why won't you over here sending him long paragraphs? Let's get into the long paragraphs. A lot of y'all women in your feelings. All your, why won't you text me? You a low down dirty dog. I know that you not at work right now. I know you wasn't asleep right now. I know you just ignoring me. Why you ignoring me? I can't stand you. I never want to talk to you again. Just delete my number. Ah! You done went clean off on this man and he not even your man. Now this man looking at you like, look at this thirsty, pathetic woman. I got real deep under her skin. Look how much power I got over this woman to make her explode. She just mad. She just exploded. She's so angry and frustrated. Look how deep I got under her skin. I didn't touch the nerve. I, a man should not have that much power over you to bring you out your element like that. You, you should never lose your cool for a man. You should never let a man see your interest level. You think... Oh, I'm going to tell this man off. I'm going to tell him exactly how I feel. I'm going to tell him 
Why you not texting me back? Why you not calling me? I can't stand you. Blah, blah, blah. You think I'm going to tell him off and that's going to get a reaction out of him and make him chase me. No, nah, that's just going to push him away because now he see your interest level. If you going off on me and you sending me long paragraphs, you must really, really care to take time out of your day to type that long message. <laughs> if I got under your skin to where you can send me a long message like that, that mean that you care so much about me and now I know that, hey, you know, you you need me. You want me so bad. You so desperate for me. You, you need to talk to me so bad. You're so frustrated that I did not text you back. You so mad I didn't want to take you out. You so mad I did not call you today. Now you blowing up on me, going off on me. You don't never go off on a man that's not your man unless he's actually disrespecting you now if he disrespecting you then that's one thing but if he just simply not texting you back or not calling you or he's just kind of distancing himself or he's just you know distancing himself or he's just acting funny if he's acting funny then you act funny you know you just give him the same energy you don't go off you don't get mad you just sit back and you just play the game just like how he playing it right so don't you ever get all frustrated because guess what? That's why a man will disrespect you because he know you desperate for me. He know that, you know, you just tripping so hard. Look how hard you tripping for me. You know, oh yeah, she want me bad. Look, look at this long message. Look at all these text messages back to back to back. I know you seen my message. I know you saw my last message. Why are you ignoring me? That, that's going to make him ignore you even more to really get under your skin. Look at her. Look at how desperate she is. Let me see how, how mad she really get over me. You know, then he pulled back even more because he got all the power. You never give your power away or your attention away and never lose your cool for a man. Okay? Especially one that's not even your man. All right? So that's number three. So number four. The fourth thing that you should never do if you actually want a man to respect you, number four is, a man will never respect a woman that is okay with no commitment, right? So if you've been dating a man for a few months, let's say anywhere from three to six months, after six months for sure, it's time to cut him off. If he has not made you his girlfriend by the six month mark, you need to cut him off. And even then, six months is still kind of too long, right? If a man, a man knows what he wants in a woman, men already know from the jump when they first meet you, if I want to be with you or not. And especially after he gets to know you over the next few weeks, a few months, he already know if he want to be with you or not. If he want to make you his girlfriend or not. It take about three to six months. Anywhere from about three to, and make, like I said, six months is too long. Really about three to about four, maybe five-ish months. A man already know if he want to make you his girlfriend. By that time for facts, he know, right? But if he ain't talking about that, if a man talking about, Oh, I just want to take my time. I'm not ready for a relationship right now. I don't believe in relationships. I don't want to get married ever. I never want to be with a woman. I don't want to, I can't see myself with one woman forever. Or I'm not ready to settle down right now. I got so much to do in my life. A relationship going to slow me down. Let's just stay where we at. Or let's just be friends. Or I'm not ready for a relationship. Blah, blah, blah. You done heard it all before. If a man tell you that, it's time for you to walk. Do not try to change his mind. A lot of y'all women try to change a man's mind. And you stay there giving away all your benefits, hoping that this man will change his mind. Oh, he said he's not ready for a relationship. So if I give him some booty, if I keep giving him booty, if I keep giving him, you know, some my good cooking and my cleaning, and I keep, you know, spending money on him, that's going to make him 
want want to be with me and make me his girlfriend. That's gonna make that's gonna make him want me. No, it's not. Again, like number one, all he gonna do is use you. So you end up staying with a man and never cutting him off. If a man not ready for commitment and he not on the same page as you, you know what you want. You know you want a husband, right? You know you want actual commitment. If this man not ready to turn down his player card and turn it in, if this man still want to have sex with all these different women, if this man still want to explore his options, if this man still talking to multiple women and he has not focused on you and cut off the women and just focus on you and he want to be with you, then you need to cut him off because you wasting your own time. It's so many women being with a man for two years, five years, 10 years, 20, 30, 50 years. And guess what? You ain't even been the girlfriend. You ain't even made it to the girlfriend part and you definitely ain't got no ring on your finger. So what's the point of dealing with a man if y'all ain't never gonna actually go to the next level and get married and start a family? Ain't that the whole point of being with somebody? If a man don't want commitment, then you should not be with him, period. But again, a lot of y'all women so desperate just to say you got a man, you will settle for just a companionship instead of a commitment, right? Again, I'm going to say that one more time. You settle for a companionship instead of an actual official commitment, right? So you want a man to commit to you officially. If he don't make his girlfriend between three to six months max, after six months, you need to cut him off. And you need to be dating multiple men anyways for that reason. Don't throw your eggs in one basket and just date one man at a time every six months. No, explore your options. And, and by six months, hey, I'm going to cut you off, but I'm still talking to two, three, four, five other men anyways. And then if and then if they not trying to make nothing happen, cut them off too, okay? After about three, six months, you ain't trying to make nothing happen, cut you off too, cut you off too. And you just got a rotation of men, You hey, may the best man win. I want who want me. Whoever ready for a commitment, hey, let's make it happen. If y'all not ready, you just got to cut off all the men that ain't supposed to be there and only keep around the men that actually want a commitment and made the best man win because it's a competition for your love because you the prize. Okay, so that's number four. So number five, the fifth and last and final thing that you should never do as a woman if you actually want a man to respect you, number five is a man will never respect a woman that is too provocative, right? A man cannot respect a woman that look like a street walker, that look like, you know, a H to the O to the E. Let's be real. A man can never respect a woman that is showing off everything she got or a woman that's been with too many men and everybody know, the whole world know that you done been with so many men, even if you have been with a lot of men, let's just say you had a past and you know, you had sex with a lot of men or you've been in relationships, sexual relationships with a lot of men. Maybe your body count is real high. Shouldn't nobody know that, but you <laughs> shouldn't nobody know your body count, but you it's a problem when it's out and everybody knows all the men you've been with. Everybody knows, you know, that you get around, you in these streets, you're for the streets. If, if everybody knows or if a man get with you and his homeboys, hey, don't talk to her. I used to talk to her. Or, hey, man, you probably don't want to talk to her because I, I heard about her and I heard that she get down. Hey, you know, you know, the, the guy over here, he had her. And this guy right here, he used to be with her too. This guy already had sex with her. And this guy had sex with her too. And this guy had sex with her too. And everybody knows that you are H to the O to the E. That's a problem. 
And won't no man wife you if he know that you've been with everybody. So even if you have been with everybody, hopefully don't nobody know your body count but you. Should nobody know a woman's real body count but yourself? Because a lot of times if a man know your true body count, he won't even want to talk to you no more. Especially if your body count is kind of on the higher side, you know, then, hey, you know, you're going to mess it up. Or just a woman that dresses too provocatively, right? A woman that dresses like a stripper or even worse, you know? If you walking around and your whole booty hanging out your drawers or hanging out, you know, your skirt or hanging out your dress or hanging out your... If you got some shorts on or whatever and I can see your whole booty cheeks is out, why would I wife you? Why would I respect you? Why would I want you? And I didn't see everything. I'm not talking about a little cleavage. A little cleavage is fine. A little leg is fine. Ain't nothing wrong with dressing sexy. You can dress sexy without looking trashy. You can dress classy without looking like, you know, you just, just dusty. And you just trying too hard to get attention, right? It's a lot of women, you know, yeah, you can show a little cleavage, but don't be showing the whole thing. You showing the whole thing and people can see straight through your shirt and they can see your, what, what everything look like. They see you pointing out like this, you know, in your shirt. They see, you know, your whole booty hanging out. Have some class, ladies. Are you a lady or are you a street walker? Are you, are you, a, are you a lady, a classy lady, or are you a stripper? You know, now if you a stripper, that's different. You could wear whatever because that's your job. But if you're not that, then don't be dressing like that. And you wonder why men don't respect you. You might think a man, that's what a man wants. So I'm going to show off my booty. I'm going to show off my, my, my chest, you know, so he can see it and he can want me. Guess what? All he going to do is use you because you advertising your body instead of advertising your mind and who you are as a woman. Don't lead with your beauty. Lead with who you are as a woman. Yes, you're beautiful. And yes, you can show a little leg. You can show a little skin. You can show some cleavage. That's fine. Ain't nothing wrong with that. I'm not saying you got to dress like a nun, but don't dress like you finna stand on a street corner either. Right? Have some class to yourself. And then on social media, if I go on your Instagram right now and I cannot show my mother your Instagram, then I shouldn't be with you, period. If I cannot say, mama, this the woman I want to be with. This the woman I want to spend my life with. This the woman I want to marry. If I can't show my mama your, your Instagram page or your Facebook page because you got your whole booty out in the camera trying to get some likes and some comments, you so thirsty for attention, it's sick. A lot of women are so thirsty for attention online is sick. You got to show off your whole body just so you can feel good about yourself. You got to show off your whole body just so you can get some likes and some views and somebody to actually pay some attention to you. That's a problem. That's some insecure stuff. And a man not going to respect you. He only going to want to have sex with you. And you wonder why all men want to do is have sex with you. All these men want to do is have sex. That's all they want from me is sex. That's all you got to offer. That's all you advertising. What else do I want from you? You showing the booty, so you might as well be throwing the booty. So if I come at you and I say, hey, give me some booty, don't get offended. You showing your booty, so don't get offended if I ask for some booty. If you want a man to take you seriously, then don't show everything. You want to leave a mystery. Back in the day, a woman used to leave some mystery. You used to see her body and say, ooh, I wonder what she looked like under them clothes. I, I see a little cleavage. Ooh, I wonder what it really looked like. I see a little leg. You know, I see her, her dress is, is, is short. You know, it's short, but I can't see her booty, but it's short. But ooh, I wish she could just lift it up a little bit so I could see, ooh. You used to leave some mystery. Ain't no mystery no more. So how can I take a woman serious and everybody that's seen your whole body? 
a, a man don't want a woman that everybody been seeing. All my homeboys been seeing you with no clothes on. All my friends and family been seeing you with no clothes on. That's embarrassing. To a real man, that's embarrassing. And I can never take you home with me. I can never really value you because you don't even value yourself because you put yourself on display for the world to see. Instead of showing off your mind and showing off your actual skills as a woman, instead of just showing off your assets that all a man want to do is have sex with you. And you wonder why a man objectifies you or sexualizes you. You objectify and sexualize yourself. So have some class, have some dignity, and, you know, be sexy classy. You could be sexy and not be trashy, okay? So just keep that in mind and, and, and really pay attention to how you dress and how you carry yourself and the pictures and videos that you post online because men are watching and don't nobody want no that everybody had or everybody seen. Okay, so ladies, I hope you enjoyed this video. Those are my top five things that you should never do if you actually want a man to respect you and take you seriously. And again, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, subscribe, y'all. Hit that bell notification for me, and I'm out of here. So, till the next video.